What's going on everyone? I'm Boone. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. This week I'm looking at an After Effects plugin called Script Fighter. This $14 tool is going to allow you to quickly and easily add subtitles inside of Adobe After Effects. Now let's say I want to add subtitles to this 12 second clip. So let's have a listen. How's it going everyone? My name is Boone and today I'm starting a weekly series called Tuesday Tools. Now the reason I wanted to start this series is because I've been receiving a lot of requests to review specific After Effects plugins. Okay, now I actually have this text already typed out here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna come back to After Effects. And over here to the left, I have the Script Fighter subtitles panel open. All I need to do is paste this text in the panel. Now this is really, really simple. So this tutorial is probably gonna be really, really short. Now each line represents a subtitle, but not for this in particular, because right now our words are just wrapping around. So this would all be on one particular title. So to make another title, I simply need to hit the Enter key. So I'm going to go in between my sentences here. I'm going to hit enter. How's it going, everyone? My name is Boone, and today I'm starting a weekly series called Tuesday Tools. Now I'm going to hit enter here. Now, now the reason I wanted to start this series is because I've been receiving a lot of requests to review After Effects plugins. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there as well. So now we have them all on individual lines. And also, if I wanted to create an empty title, I can simply hit enter and I can create a gap there and that's going to give me an empty subtitle. But since the text is so, you know, the way I'm speaking, there's no real gaps. So I'm just going to go ahead and not leave any gaps there. Now I'm going to go down and click the create subtitles button. Now you can see I have a single text layer created down here with some keyframes and it's pretty cool the way this is set up. So essentially it's adding source text keyframes and now the way we position these is you just simply drag these and move them around to match where you're speaking. And they also have a layer style applied, a stroke. So I have a black stroke, really thin black stroke around this white text. So no matter what the background is, even if this is up against a white background, uh, we're still gonna be able to see that text. So you don't need to do anything else like create any backgrounds to make it pop or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now let's have another listen and I need to position these keyframes. How's it going everyone? My name's Boone. And my name's Boone and everyone, my name's Boone and today I'm starting a weekly series called Tuesday Tools. Now the reason I wanted to start this series is because I've been receiving a lot of requests to review specific After Effects plugins. Okay, so now these are all in place, but I see that I left a word out. I said specific here at the end. Request to review specific After Effects plugins. So now let's say I want to go back and add that word in. So I'm going to select this keyframe and then I'm going to hit this edit button here. And I'm just going to type in specific. And then I'm going to hit apply. And now you can see that that word was added. Now I can edit multiple titles at the same time by selecting this and you'll see they're all selected now. And then I can hit the edit button and uh, you'll see it all pops up there. Now I can also change the design if I just select source text and select all the keyframes and then drag my playhead over one of the keyframes. Then I can go in and uh, type a different font and then go down there and select the font. I'm not entirely sure if that's the way you're supposed to change the design uh, because in the, in the instructions for this particular tool, you're supposed to do it right after you type everything in. You're supposed to choose your font and then apply it. But I don't really like that because you can't you know see it here. So here if I change the size, uh, and then it looks like everything's fine. But if I don't have my playhead over the particular key keyframe and I change the size, you're gonna see it as a new keyframe. So uh, be aware of that. Another cool option here is if we wanna have you know um, the text direction change um, for a different typing mode. Also, I can do import and export. So if I already have some, uh, let's say I have the, some .srt files, I can import those in directly. I can also export these as SRT. So let's say I'm throwing this up on YouTube I could just quickly export these and then upload them via YouTube. So very, very cool. And to be honest, this is even, um, I find this much easier than the captions uh, tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I kind of prefer this method, but unfortunately I don't add subtitles a lot in my After Effects projects, um, mainly only in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So hey, I don't know, maybe you can dynamically link it, um, all your Premiere Pro stuff, come in here in After Effects and add subtitles this way. I don't know. If that toots your horn, go for it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and check back next week for another Tuesday tool. 
passiert.